for me specifically, a typical day is uh, not very typical, which is kind of the best part of the job. Like I'll be out in the field testing one day or downstairs trying to break some motors another day. And then I'll be researching adhesives and rosin ether, which is apparently derived from pines, like for a third day. That's one of the things I like about it is that you can kind of have a schedule in mind, but things come up so suddenly and so rapidly, you have to be constantly ready to adapt. And which means I get to work on a lot of stuff with many different paces all the time and no day quite looks like the one before it. Wing is a pretty unique opportunity to do engineering work that will come to fruition in the real world within one to two year time frame. In aerospace engineering, you're working on an aircraft program for quite a long time, maybe five to 10 years before you see that airplane fly. And at Wing, I get to work on something that is flying right now and make modifications that will fly next year or design an aircraft that will, will fly in the next two or three years. Um, and that's pretty gratifying to see that happen. To me, Wing is a logistics system. It's a system that lets packages be delivered to people out in the real world. It just happens we're using drones to do that job. So, you know, we're building the software and the systems to coordinate that robot and to orchestrate that process of getting those packages out to people in the real world. Drone delivery started as a concept at Google and X um, about eight, nine years ago. And the team at Wing built an aircraft to essentially validate the concept Nowadays, it's grown into a big commercial operation where we are linked with business partners and we essentially allow consumers to order through a mobile application that we have and we deliver goods sometimes in as short as three to four minutes directly through the system using a drone that latches a package and lowers it on a tether to your front yard. I essentially work for the reliability team, which means that I break all the stuff that the engineers make. And then I hand it back to them and tell them how to make it better. As far as jobs go, I couldn't really ask for a better one. For one thing, the people are just awesome to work with. I can't imagine a better group of people to work with. The second most rewarding thing is seeing how far the aircraft has come and knowing that like I helped design that. My team is responsible for measuring and improving the performance of Wing's fleet and also ideation and exploration of new aircraft concepts for future fleets. So that's sort of where my team comes in on the vehicle development side. The engineering team builds all of the automation, all of the back-end services. Like I said, the vehicle, the hardware, performs the testing to understand the capabilities of the hardware and software that we've developed and ensure that they are meeting the performance requirements so that we can offer the service to people. Yeah, you know, I'm a software engineer, so I'm often working on, you know, batch data processing, things that are loading in and, and processing them so that we can access them, you know, before flight and, and plan our flights against them. One of the moments that really stood out to me when I started at Wing was I showed up at our flight test facility. I saw a 48 aircraft doing their pre-flight built-in test, essentially hovering over the ground a couple feet above the charge pad and going through the pre-flight test all together within the span of 30 seconds or so. And as a Marine drone pilot, we used to spend about 45 minutes to an hour with two pilots, a handful of ground crew, prepping each aircraft, typically a single aircraft for flight. To see Wing getting a 48 planes ready in the matter of seconds to fly was one of those moments that really, uh, you know, turned the light bulb on and made me realize we are trying to do things at scale uh, way beyond what I was accustomed to and um, way beyond what I think we have ever seen with aviation. I actually got into aviation kind of since I've been here. It's Aviation is a very integral part of what we do at Wing and it is very contagious. So I started out with small quadcopters and drones, but then working here, you get really excited about just aviation in general, plane spotting, like the aerodynamics of how different things work because they pull a lot of inspiration from other 
aircraft and other quadcopters and kind of mash those techniques together. A lot of our team are actually either drone pilots or actual pilots for our aero team. Like at least two of them fly helicopters. Almost three of them have professional pilot's license. It's hard working here not to be excited about aircraft. I don't have any background in aviation, but I was very interested in airplanes from a very young age. I think there was some sort of Discovery Channel or History Channel special about the skunk works that I watched and really captured my imagination. I really liked math and I really liked drawing. I found airplanes really beautiful. So no background, I didn't grow up flying. My parents weren't engineers, um, but I knew from a pretty young age that this is what I wanted to do. All of my materials background comes from playing with arts and crafts and glues and different materials. I'm actually surprised at how much that background has played into a lot of the test development and setup and understanding what materials work together and what materials don't work together. And then if they don't work together, how can you make them work together? Right now I'm working on a lot of environmental conditioning. So the engineers have come up with a couple of different designs and there's some things that we've seen in the field that we maybe don't love to see on the aircraft. So we're actually trying to take our new designs, put them through very similar environmental conditions such as UV testing and temperature cycling to age those products to see what that's gonna look like six months, a year from now, so that we can change the design before we even get there. And then also kind of get an idea of like where that new part is going to break or what it's gonna look like in a number of months, years, days, however many missions so that if it's not good enough, we can fix it. And if it is good enough, we have confidence that we can have those aircraft out and flying for a year or two at a time. So I was hired to work on propeller design. So I spent several years doing that at Wing in my first few years here. I've also gotten to do a whole bunch of flight test work, wind tunnel testing at an offsite facility. I do a lot of data analysis and a lot of modeling of the aircraft system itself. And one of the more fun things I get to do is think about new aircraft concepts for new applications. And my team and I work on exploring those concepts through prototyping, testing, uh, and modeling to figure out what the next thing will be for Wing. When we launch a new service area, this is you know a place where we've never flown before and we want to be able to fly. The kind of data that I manage, we need to make sure that we have everything we need, that everything's ready to go, that we have uh, all of the terrain data about well, the you know the area the drone's going to fly over, that we have all of the radio towers or power lines or uh, regulatory information. Where does the, the regulator say we can fly, we can't fly, how high can we fly? Um, all of these questions and making sure that we're checking all the boxes, basically a big old checklist of all the different things we need to have, making sure we've got all those and we'll be looking for things you don't expect. You know, sometimes people will have an airstrip in their backyard and it's like, we got to know about this thing and we got to make sure that we're, we're safe and we're staying safe around that thing. So the thing that's most rewarding is the rapid rate of development, starting with a problem, coming up with a solution, designing it, testing it, and deploying it to the real world it can be one to two years, and that's really gratifying. For me, the most exciting and also some of the most challenging parts of working at Wing is that we are navigating in uncharted waters. There is no precedent and no template for what a drone delivery system or a drone delivery business should look like. And the engineering requirements and the business relationships and the interaction with the public are all things that we are trying to figure out. And, you know, in the industry over Overall, the, the impact that we're trying to make is transforming everyday transportation from two dimensions to three dimensions and providing access to airspace uh, to everyday people and save time and energy for folks. So I'm confident that uh, Wing has the talent and the ethos to shape the industry in the right way and you know give access to folks to a tool that has been largely uh, untapped and I look forward to contributing to that vision.